Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I'm a happy camper right now. My new iron came, I think, yesterday, and my sewing machine was ready to be picked up today. I dragged my feet about bringing it in, and they said they'd have to have it for at least two weeks before they could even look at it. But three days later, it's fixed. I'm so happy. They'd left this little piece of fabric here, and all I did was go up and down a few times. That's the only amount of testing I have done. It sounds good. It feels good and I am ready to test it. And we're going to do that with a very simple quilt block that I haven't made yet. I'm going to tell you, flying geese quilt blocks, I'm not really interested in them, but they are cool because we can turn them into star, eight-pointed star blocks. The only way I had ever seen them be made is um, by snowballing some squares or rectangles and I didn't really pay attention that much because snowballing, it's like you put a piece on a corner and you sew and then you flip that back and then you waste that under piece that you cut, unless you're like me. You don't really waste it, but it goes into a pile of crumbs that, you know, probably will never get used. And I came across, I think it was a blog post that showed a note. Yes, it was because I was very confused as to what she was doing. Um, a no waste flying geese block and I looked for a video and I found one I will link to that video down below I'm pretty much going to do exactly what she did I'm not going to change things I just want to try it but I'm thinking this could be done in a scrappy way too so I'm going to make the four flying geese tonight and then I'm going to use those four flying geese in a future video maybe the next one I don't know to make the star block. I've done the eight-pointed star block, but I've only done the wonky one. This won't be wonky. <laughs> so <laughs> there's something different. We're using a seven and a half inch square. Then these are four inch squares. And um, yeah, yes, I do have an iron, but I didn't actually iron this. And uh, four inch squares. You need four of them. I'm doing all four the same print. Seven and a half, one, four inch squares, four. Like that. That's that many fingers. I'm going to put right sides together, and we do one in this corner. No, that way, right sides together. But first, let me just see. There is a little bit of um, a direction on these, so I want to make sure I kind of have them. In the, I don't know. I don't know if that matters. So right sides together, one in this corner and here. So the two corners, kitty corner to each other. Now we need to draw a line down the center. It can be with anything because we will be cutting on that line so it's not going to show. All right, diagonal, corner to corner. She did it a different way but I'm doing it this way. Now we sew a quarter of an inch on each side of that line. We've done that before. We can handle this. My foot happens to be about a quarter of an inch, so that's what I'm going with. Yay! Yay to machine! I think I'll cut this up, make some more little tags. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side of the line. Never again am I letting this machine be broken for so long. Now we're just going to cut on that diagonal line and I'm just going to do that with scissors. But you can use your rotary cutter. And it's weird, it looks weird, and we have this going on, two of them. I'm going to go press these open. Now, the first time I saw this, I thought, no, this, this can't be easy because I don't like all this stuff going on, points and valleys. I still can't wrap my head around it, so I had to go watch <laughs> the next step. So we're going to take one of these and one of these 
I don't think it matters the way my print is going. And we're going to put it in this corner now. Huh? Isn't this weird? I love weird stuff. And we're going to draw another line here, diagonal. Whoops, I'm not on the point. You want to try to get your line on the point, so I'm going to draw another line. Good enough. <laughs> and, I don't know, I'm going to start this way. I'm going to sew again a quarter of an inch on each side of one of those lines. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to chain piece and do the next one because we're smart like that. You know what? I'm going to draw the line on this first because then I'm not on that bumpy other fabric getting smarter. I can't believe my machine is fixed. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Okay, so I drew the line already. Now, see how easy that was? And we're going to do this guy. And we can turn these, and we're going to do on the other side of the line. I hope perfection isn't an issue here, because it's not going to be happening with me. Now we're going to cut on this line. I still can't wrap my head around this. <laughs> it's weird. Maybe I should open this up first. <gasps> It does it. Look, this is the flying geese block, and we're going to be trimming it. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. We didn't have to do any snowballing. All right, let me go press these guys and trim them, and I'll tell you what they trim to. I can't remember what the other person ended up with. I think... She said six and a half by three and a half, I think. I couldn't quite get that. I think my quarter inch with this foot is generous. So um, we'll work on that. <laughs> but mine are a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I tried to trim two three and a half by six and a half, and a couple of them came out great. So this is what the flying geese looks like, and some people put it like this in a quilt. Oh, when you trim this way, what I did is I started up here and just trimmed to make it even. I did not want to lose the point, but this one's pretty close, so I could possibly lose the point. But I'm not all that worried about things, especially if this is going to turn into a star block. Um, but you can trim this just, you know, what you need to trim to make it even, and then trim this end, I think. I think that makes more sense. And then to, to take an even amount off each side, I just put this point on a line, and this side is already trimmed, so you just put this on a line and then make sure this point is, like, on a line. So you know you're right centered. Look, you can make... Oh yeah, so the flying geese, I was going to say first, usually they put them like this, and it's like rows of flying geese. Or, look, you can do this, and it makes a nice triangle. And again, if you want to do scrappy, you could. And, um, you know, so the, you know, you could take one with a half, a different color than this half, and the corners could be different colors too. Um, sure, there's other things, but... I'm going to be turning this into a star. All right. So I hope that uh, you learned something new. I certainly learned something new. We didn't have to do snowballing, <laughs> as fun as that sounds, and, uh, you know, waste fabric. I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.